obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. The present problem deals with the flow of water vapor as the main or primary fluid and the secondary fluid or the suction fluid within a convergent divergent steam ejector. The purpose of the present simulation is to investigate the behavior of primary and secondary fluid after passing through the internal conver convergent divergent nozzle and uh, ejector diffuser. In the present model, due to the vacuum pressure difference between the two inlet fluids, the suction phenomenon for the second fluid has to occur. The Mach number corresponding to the fluid flow inside the ejector increases as well. To analyze this model, we investigate parameters such as Mach number, velocity, and pressure based on the motion of the fluid flow along with the ejector. We designed the present two-dimensional model by the Design Modeler software. Due to the symmetrical structure of the nozzle and the ejector diffuser, we designed only half of the ejector. The desired geometry consists of two inlet sections for the flows related to the actuator and the secondary flow, an outlet for the mixed output fluid and the nozzle ball. Also, the meshing was performed by the ANSYS meshing software. The mesh type is unstructured due to the sensitivity of the fluid to the cross-sectional area. Manual meshing was used at each of the defined edge to increase mesh accuracy at more sensitive points. Face meshing has also been used to uniform the structure of the mesh. The simulation is a steady state as it is a density based solver and uh, compressible fluid is applied in the CFD simulation so the energy equation should be activated. The realizable K epsilon model differs from the standard K epsilon model in two important ways. The realizable K epsilon model contains an alternative formulation for the turbulent velocity and also a modified transport equation for the dissipation rate epsilon has been derived from an exact equation for the transport of the mean square vorticity fluctuations the term realizable means that the model satisfies certain mathematical constraints on the Reynolds stresses consistent with the physics of turbulent flows neither the standard k epsilon model nor the rng k epsilon model is realizable the pressure outlet boundary condition has been used for the outlet of the steam ejector the steam ejector wall is a stationary wall with no slip and also the wall is insulated so the heat flux magnitude in the thermal condition is equal to zero the ROEFDS splits the fluxes in a manner that is consistent with their corresponding flux method eigenvalues it is the default and is recommended for most cases The velocity contour that shows the maximum velocity magnitude occurs in the throat of the steam ejector. And finally, the last contour dedicated to the turbulent kinetic energy. And following this way, we can see and check the path line through the steam ejector released from the inlet, both secondary and primary inlet surfaces. This table is a summary of the steps for defining the problem and uh, its solution as a review. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Master CFT services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at
Hope you enjoy.